I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that may seem kind of basic, but it is one that I get questions on all the time and I get requests for this video quite a bit. So I figured let's do it. Let's go back down to the basics here and talk about Scentsy bar storage. How are we supposed to store our wax? And like I said, I know that may seem um, like a very simple thing. I'm sure a lot of people are like, you just throw it in a container and call it a day, or you throw it in a drawer and call it a day. But there are some things to keep in mind and definitely some things that I have learned along the way. <laughs> so I will share kind of my experiences and how I store my Scentsy bars. Um, this is, this doesn't mean you have to store your bars this way. I have a lot of wax. I have a lot, a lot of wax. So I store and I'm fortunate enough to have a Scentsy room. <laughs> so the, I have a room dedicated in my house where I film my videos and hang out with you guys. So this room that we film in is my Scentsy room. So this essentially is my Scentsy storage is in this room here. So, um, but I will show you a few things. The biggest question there is when it comes to bar storage is do you hang them or do you lay them flat? So we are going to answer that question today because the answer is not as simple as you may think. It's not just a yes or no answer. Um, and we're going to, we're going to go over that. And like I said, I'm going to show you how I store my bars and things, um, to kind of keep in mind and stuff when you are storing bars a certain way. Um, so the reason why I mention hanging is because when you buy your Scentsy bars, you will see, and this is going to be hard to see because it's clear, but you will see, um, that on your clamshell, you have a little spot where you can hang the bars. So yeah, you can absolutely hang the bars if you want to. A lot of consultants will say, absolutely not. You're not supposed to hang your bars. Um, it, go for it. If, if you want to go for it, just, I would say just keep an eye on the hanging bars. I store my bars both ways. I have drawers that you guys are going to see. I also hang my bars. I used to have a bar wall that was behind me. Um, but now it's just kind of like off to the side here. So I do, I do store my bars both ways. I have drawers for my bars. I have baskets for my bars and I hang my bars. So no matter how this looks for you, um, store it however you want to. But like I said, I will go ahead and share with you kind of some of my experiences. When I first started collecting my Scentsy, when my Scentsy habit first started, <laughs> um, I, what I started doing was getting um, scrapbook containers from Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any of those, you would get like the scrapbook, um, like containers that have like handles on them. And I would store my bars that way because they fit perfect. They fit perfect. It had, it was a closed container. It was plastic. It was super easy to just like, to take it out, get the wax you want out, put it back either in the closet, under your bed, wherever it is that you're, you're keeping it. It was super simple that way. What happened for me, in my experience, what happened for me when I was storing my bars that way, they all started smelling the same. <laughs> so I think the key to that, and what I have found to be true, true for me, is that you need to have some kind of airflow. Otherwise, if they're all in a container, closed off, no airflow whatsoever, they all just start to mix and mingle and start to smell the same. Um, so I stopped doing that. So I still have those containers, but uh, th those containers I are used for other things now. <laughs> like for instance, I store my light bulbs in one of them. The other one I store um, order bags in. And so like those containers are fine for that sort of thing, but I feel like any type of, and it doesn't have to just be scrapbooking containers. I think anything that has a lid and is completely completely closed off to any airflow is probably not ideal. At least not something I would recommend for your bar storage. Um, also keep in mind, just because this just jumped into my, my mind, if you are storing your bars, say in a garage or up in an attic or anything like that, always remember, remember them during the warmer months. Just even if it means you store them in those areas during the winter months, they're going to be fine. Like they'll be fine because it's nice and cold, right? But, but <laughs> 
make sure you are removing them and moving them to a safer place during the spring and summer months when it starts to warm up like now because that is when um your attics are going to start to warm up that's when your garage is going to start to warm up and when the environment is warming up around wax the wax will melt and it will be a disaster also with that being said this is kind of veering a little bit but i promise we're going to get back on <laughs> back on topic if you store your warmers in a garage or attic or anything like that a storage unit whatever it is uh, because i now in this house i store my warmers in my garage i didn't do that before in my old house i um, just stored them in my sensi room and here they're stored in the garage i used to not clean out my warmer dishes <laughs> when i would pack them back up and so my holiday warmers i'd bring them back out for the for the holiday season and they have had wax sitting in them all summer long and it just becomes a mess in the warmer box so that's a little tip for you there to learn from my mistakes if you are if you have a lot of warmers like me <laughs> if you or you have like certain seasonal warmers that you like to break out during certain times of the year do yourself a favor do, it, it all comes down to laziness i i was very very lazy <laughs> when when and i still am i was just packing up some warmers because i'm getting all my spring and summer warmers out now i was just packing up the last of my winter warmer i know that's crazy that's it, it's in here it's in here though <laughs> so you you may notice some different warmers that are out so i packed up some of these that were behind me and like my glimmer and glow warmer my uh, winter retreat warmer those lantern style warmers love them and it was time to pack them up and i didn't want to change out the wax i actually like legit i was putting the the warmer just i was looking at it i was like i really don't want to wait and like change out this wax i really just want to pack it up and be done with it i actually put it into the box and i was like no i will regret this because especially like winter retreat i am not going to get that back out until the winter so it's gonna sit in my really hot garage all summer and it's gonna be a disaster and then i'm gonna be kicking myself <laughs> so just learn from my mistakes uh if you're packing up your warmers clean out the warmer dishes then it's so nice when you go to unpack that warmer again and you're ready to use it it's got a fresh clean dish you don't have to mess with switching out the wax in it it's ready to be used which is awesome okay back on track <laughs> for bar storage. So with your bar storage, so you want to um, just make sure that there's some airflow. That's the main thing that I can suggest. Um, you can keep, I've got Alex nine drawers that you guys are going to see. So it has that little like dip in the, in the drawer, like front of it, um, more to be used like a handle. So there's enough airflow. Plus I'm like constantly opening those. <laughs> so it's not like a super sealed container. So I haven't had any issues with storing my warmers in drawers. I also, you'll see these ba baskets behind me and we're going to jump in and actually into like the nitty gritty and see how I store my bars and you can see how, how they look and all of that stuff. Um, so even with these baskets, these baskets are woven, they have a little handle, they get pulled out frequently. So there's plenty of airflow that goes through there. It's not a ton. It doesn't have to be like, and you're going to see there's, it, they're all like piled on top of each other. Like the, there's no like real, like super, they're organized to an extent because I do keep them like categorized, like I keep them categorized in their storage. So like I try to keep like scents together. Um, that just makes it easier for me when I'm in the mood for something. I know where I can go and grab from. But um, yeah, so there's no, they don't have to be like separated a certain um, spacing between them or anything like that. Just as long as there's some kind of airflow, as long as they're not like super sealed off, I feel like is like the biggest thing um, when it comes to your bar storage have a have a drawer um in in your nightstand <laughs> also learn from me if your nightstand is above a heater vent <laughs> not the ideal place to keep your uh wax <laughs> uh because this is the first house that we that i have ever lived in that has the vents on the floor every house i've ever lived in um has always had vents on the ceiling 
here the vents are on the floor so it didn't occur to me when i thought oh you know what i'm gonna save myself a trip across the house and <laughs> we don't live in a mansion or anything i'm just again I'm lazy. <laughs> like I, I want this to be as easy and efficient as possible. Um, so I'm like, I'm the sense that like, I know I'm going to warm in the bedroom. Why don't I store those in my bedroom? So I thought, okay, I'm going to just make this little drawer in my nightstand just for wax that I know I'm only going to warm in the bedroom, like jammy time. Um, all blocks is one that we love to, um, warm in the bedroom, those types of scents. I'm gonna just keep those there because I'm not gonna warm them in this room. I'm not gonna warm them throughout the house. So I'll just keep them in the bedroom. So I I did keep some bars in my in my nightstand that is sitting over the vent. <laughs> and through the winter, we have been using the heater from time to time. <laughs> and you know what's next? Then it just it it wasn't like a disaster. Like it didn't ruin my nightstand or anything. But I was seeing the oils and stuff pooling up on the sides of the, and I was like, oh no. And I went to grab it and the bar was warm. I was like, yep, problem. <laughs> this is not the ideal place to be storing these. So just make sure your bars are being stored in something that's not completely sealed. It has some airflow and is cool and dry and not like in direct sunlight or anything like that. So there's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive over into my baskets, into my drawers. The other thing I wanna say and put a little disclaimer out, these are my bars. So you will see some bars that are discontinued because I have them in my club. And um, these are not bars that are for sale. So I, I do just have to put that out there. This is my own personal, um, I don't even want to call it stock because it's not stock like this is this is my own personal wax stash so I just I have to put that out there none of this stuff is for sale this is my own personal wax stash I have a lot of it don't judge me <laughs> it's just my thing like I, I love wax it brings me a lot of joy I warm through a lot of it if you have seen my what I've been warming videos you know I go through quite a bit of wax so um, I have quite a bit of wax so let's go ahead and check it out Okay, friends, so not a typical view that you guys are normally seeing. Normally, this is what you're looking at. <laughs> um, so if this is the first time you are getting my Scentsy room tour, I guess this is kind of a Scentsy room tour because almost all of the storage in this room is for Scentsy bars. <laughs> um, so if you are new here, hello and welcome. This is where we spend all of our time. <laughs> I am usually sitting right there and you're usually sitting right there and we are just hanging out and chit-chatting about the latest and greatest in the Scentsy world. So, okay, let's talk about different storage methods, why it's even, why it's even a thing, because I can't remember if I already mentioned like the juicy or the leaky situations with bars yet. Um, but so that's why people will ask, the right and wrong way to storing your bars, whether it's hanging versus storing flat. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and show you. So if you are going to hang your bars on a peg wall situation like this, you totally can, but just keep a close eye on your bars. So whether it means you are popping them open or I actually have a couple of examples here. Um, so here are some blueberry burst bars. I've got two. I always keep a good close eye on my bars, um, but these were kind of like sitting in the back on my bar wall. And so you will see how the oils are separating and kind of sinking down into, um, into the cracks here at the bottom. So what's going to happen over time is that those fragrance oils are going to leak out. Like it's not really, it's coming out. Oh, sorry. You're not, you're not really saying that. It's not really coming out like profusely or anything, but over time it's going to drip out and you don't want this stuff dripping on your carpet or on your walls or anything like that. So, um, and it's just, you want to keep those fragrance oils on the bar at least. So you'll want to look for that. Also, if you are just seeing on the back of your bar, you'll kind of start to see it get a little bit juicy. So when you start to see that, that's when you're going to want to pull it from the wall and store them in either a basket or a drawer like I'm going to show you. So, but there's nothing wrong if you want to go ahead and store your bars. You can see I still store my bars this way. Um, it's just, I don't know. I like coming into this room 
and seeing my bars hanging there. They're just saying, hello, good morning. And it just makes me really happy. So, um, you know, if you want to hang them, go for it. I just always recommend to keep a close eye on them. So that way they're not leaking or anything. Um, yeah, so there's that. So if you want to hang them, go for it. Just keep an eye on them. So I do store them this way. Um, so as these are hanging here, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. You can see I have <laughs> several of my Hocus Pocus bars. So those are organized kind of, I went obviously Hocus Pocus. I've got a couple other like licensed bars in there as well. Um, but mostly it's like just color coordination. It's not, and, and only slightly, there's just a random purple there. So for those of you that, um, this drives you crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I just was like, you know what? You can't really see this in the back of my videos anymore. So I've kind of started getting away from like having it totally color coordinated, but that's really all the rhyme and reason there is to my hanging bars is just trying to keep it somewhat color coordinated, somewhat. <laughs> So that's all there is there. Um, if you are wanting to check for the juiciness on your bars that are not hanging, I figured I would go ahead and show you that as well. So light side of the force, this is one of the bars because there's a few bars that are just notorious for becoming juicy. So um, I will just keep a close eye on those um, or I just won't even mess with hanging them. So like this is, a, this is a prime example. Now this is not an old bar or anything. Um, this just gets juicy quickly. So, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's still going to, um, warm up just fine. It's still going to throw the fragrance just fine. And this is going to be just fine. This is a powerhouse scent. So, um, I really am not too worried about it being juicy at all. I haven't had any issues with juicy bars, except for the fa fact that it just can be a little bit messy sometimes. So now let's dive into my baskets. So um, we'll start over here. So these two baskets over here, um, this is an em my empties basket. So that's where I will toss all my clamshells and things. This is just kind of a random, um, a random basket <laughs> where I've got some cotton cleanups. Um, I've got some uh, things that I take with me to parties like uh, an extension cord and things like that. So, um, just a random basket here. Okay. These couple of baskets are all bars. So these are my bars and these are stored, um, rather than being like color coordinated somewhat, uh, these over here are organized by scent type. So this is my fruity basket. So I will, if I'm in the mood for fruity, I'm going to pull this basket out and I'm going to start going through until I find what it is I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, there, that's all there is to it. You can see it's not super like tidy and organized. I literally just like throw the bars in there. Just make sure they're laying somewhat flat. Um, this is a woven wicker basket. So it is getting some airflow. Plus I pull it out quite a bit. <laughs> so it's getting the airflow there as well. So I haven't had any issues with the bars starting to smell all the same. So, um, these are just some fruity bars here. Got those next basket. This is my pumpkin basket. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yes. I have a basket of pumpkin scents. Very Perry Pumpkin, Pumpkin Tiramisu, Pumpkin Marshmallow, um, all of the things. <laughs> uh, coconut Pumpkin Pie, like all of my pumpkin scents are all in here. So I love that. So when I'm feeling like I need my pumpkin scents, I dive into my pumpkin basket. So I've got that there. And then this basket here is all my um, like bakery scents. So warm and bakery sweet plum pastry, uh, hazelnut frosting, French toast, apple butter frosting, maraschino sugar cookie, apple cherry strudel, all of those like type of like warm bakery scents, those are going to go in here. So that way, if they do start to smell the same, at least they're already in the same scent category. But I haven't had that issue where they all start to smell the same because this is getting plenty of airflow there. Over here, these are pods. <laughs> So this is my pod basket here. So anytime I am reaching for any of my pods, this is the basket that I'm going to. So 
Now it is time to hop over to check out my drawer bar situation. Um, this unit over here, this is all just like different um, business supplies and things. I've got my ribbons, envelopes, cards, things like that. So this whole this whole system here is all just like business supplies. And then over here, top two drawers are just like some random business supplies. Third one, these are where I keep my unopened oils. The oils that are already opened and that I am using are being stored here. Um, but any of them that are unopened, brand new, they are in this drawer here. So now we get into the bars. So see how these are laying nice and flat. And again, just like the baskets, I try to, well, you can see this is basically my coastal strawberry uh, <laughs> drawer. Um, so I will just lay them flat and I will lay them with like bars or try to anyway. Sometimes I do get lazy and sometimes I will um, just like throw random bars. Like if I get my Scentsy Club shipment or something, then I will just be like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to throw it in here. <laughs> so again, just laying flat here and see how these Alex nine drawers have, um, have the little hole cut out for like the handle type situation. So it gets some airflow in here. So again, just laying flat in a cool, dry place. None of these drawers are in direct sunlight or anything. Um, it's next to a window, but I've got window coverings and the 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 light doesn't come like beating in here too bad. So a random hand soap, <laughs> like, hey, if there's space, I'm gonna utilize it. So same thing, just making sure they're all laying flat and they are with like-minded bars. <laughs> so this is all kind of like my fruity drawers are kind of over here. And then over here on this side, we will have, by the way, if you hear the humming of the air purifier, if that's annoying, I'm sorry. Um, again, top two is going to be for just some uh, random business stuff. Let's see. And then I think, yeah, th these are all bars here. So I've got, these are like fresh bars. And see, this is what I mean. I just kind of got lazy. These are fresh bars, but then you have like Bora Bora Blossom. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. Uh, and then we've got... Some more fresh bars here. Fresh. So then it's just nice. They're organized. Um, they are being stored in a way that I don't have to worry about them. Whereas like these are a little bit higher maintenance because I do keep an eye on them. I do keep a closer eye on them to see if they are getting juicy. But these I don't ever have to worry about and I just, if I'm in the mood for a particular scent, I know which drawers to come to or baskets to come to. Some more hand soaps. And then we're getting into like the Christmassy kind of scents. But see, yeah, so <laughs> some like Christmassy scents and then you've got Ariel Under the Sea. <laughs> you've got Mickey Mouse and Friends. But I haven't had an issue with them all like smelling the same. So yeah, so those are the different ways I store my bars and drawers and baskets. And while we're in here, we may as well do some brick storage as well. Um, so you can see we've got, so this is the closet. <laughs> this is the closet in this room. I also utilize for storage because why the heck not? So um, these drawers are just kind of used for um, fragrance flowers, room sprays, business supplies. So no bars there. Um, I've got some testers. These are just like extra testers that I'll put in for like P.O. Box parties and stuff like that. And then the baskets. <laughs> We've got the same basket system here. So again with the bars here. You'll see these are more jumbled <laughs> than the other ones. Um, oh, actually, I want that. Yeah, I want that <laughs> while we're in here. Um, and then down here, bars. The rest of these are bricks, too. I store them the same way. So they are just stored flat, just like that. Um, not necessarily like scents because there's all different scent types for the bricks. So I just store them this way and it just works. So we've got my bricks here. And then we have the last 
the last basket there. There you have it. We've got baskets and drawers of wax. Oh my. All right, friends, so there you have it. That is how I store my Scentsy bars. I hope you found this helpful. Again, just quickly recapping, there is no right or wrong way if you are going to hang your bars, just check on them, make sure they're not getting juicy. If they start to get juicy, it's time to lay them and uh, store them laying flat, um, possibly in a drawer or a container. If you have a container that has a lid, just don't use the lid. I think that should be fine, but that is how I store my Scentsy bars. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down below in the comments how, what's your bar storage like? Do you have a container? Do you have a drawer? Do you have a bar wall? Do you have a room? <laughs> The, the the possibilities really are endless. So let me know how you store your bars and how well it works for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.